Cool, cool. All right, I'm uh, Dave Rat, and uh, yesterday I did a video. I don't know when you guys will see it, but uh, yesterday I did a video on um, why the PCM60 is such a cool unit, and it has to do with the ability to overload the front end um, circuit on it and have a desirable distortion sound that gets added into the reverberation and gives you a real crunchy, hard reverb, increasing the impact and making it sound less natural. Not that it sounds overly natural anyways, that it's already a gritty reverb. Um, but giving the ability to turn it down in the mix and have it still be audible if you want to, if you have that uh, desire for that effect. Uh, today, I want to show you another trick with the PCM60. Uh, after finding out that the front end had this uh, desirable overload sound, I started uh, experimenting and uh, it was with Chili Peppers. They, they would play Search and Destroy. And I was looking for a, um, a vocal that kind of had this overdriven fuzz sound to it uh, for Anthony's voice to really drive it and give this push. And it's surprisingly difficult to find a good sounding distortion overdrive type uh, device for live audio. Uh, not only in tonality, finding something that sounds good overdriven, but also something that doesn't have a lot of headroom. Once it gets overdriven, it doesn't get any louder. So if it does feed back, it's capped out at the maximum capability. So it just like hits a brick wall and just doesn't get any louder. It just gets fuzzier and fuzzier as you drive it harder. Um, I did have to ride the vocal, so I would um, send the vocal into the unit and um, leave some of the natural vocal up and then I'd take the fuzzy return and I would bring it up when he sang and back down because it was very live. It picked up a lot of room sound and it would take off feedback wise. Though the feedback was that kind of like more guitar type feedback than microphone feedback that we so much dislike. So I'm going to try and do a little demo of that. We got a mic set up here. Hey, 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 two, two. And it is um, run into this little console. I've got the uh, lexicon set up. I've changed the input um, uh, switches on the back to the higher sensitivity so it overloads easier. So I can drive it really hard off this little console. I've got some headphones I'm going to put on so I can hear what you're hearing. And let's get to it. So, um, bring the mic up in the recording for you. And two, two, two. And here, here is the straight up vocal. And you get to hear me um, talk. I guess you get to do that anyways. All right, so we've got... Um, Whatever we've got, someone singing, yeah, 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 woo, hey, happy sing song stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to what this um, unit sounds like. So here is it, um, not driven very hard. I'll bring down the set. And I'll bring up the output, two, two, two. And I'm not really hearing it, two, two, two. Oh, because it's set very low. Okay. Um, oh, the other thing I've done in order to accomplish this is... I've taken the mix from reverb and turned it all the way to the dry. So we're just running into the unit and out of the unit and just using the um, front end of it in its dry mode. Um, so let's go ahead and crank up the gain on this and see if we hear it. Hey, hey, hey. One, two, two, two. <laughs> all right. So you can hear that. It's really fuzzy. Um, yeah, hey. Ooh, yeah. All right. Now I can bring that down. And I can bring in some natural vocal. Hey, 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 two, two, two. And it adds that dirt behind the um, behind the, the, the vocal up front. You can EQ it a little bit and uh, really get that kind of cool fuzz sound um, in any degree that you want to get out of the microphone. All right. Um, cool, cool. That's about it. I would... Um, if you have a PCM60, I'd recommend trying it. They're cool units. Um, also, if you have other ways to get that good fuzz for live, um, it's definitely a well needed. I used to use the H3500. I tried to use that. Um, I've tried mul um, a lot of multi-effects processors and they just, digital emulation of actual fuzz just doesn't work. Um, in my opinion, I've never heard a good one. So getting an actual, and I've used actual guitar pedal boxes and but they're 
set for guitar fuzz. They don't have as much warmth to them, or and yeah, there's just a lot of mucking around. And I already had this in the rack. All right, I hope you find that interesting. And um, what am I going to do next? Oh, next video I'm going to do is uh, a DBX 120 XDS hack, and to show you how to use that old. RCA in, RCA out, vintage-ish piece of gear to get an awesome sub-harmonic synthesizer sound. And I'll see you soon.